MLB The Show has baseball from the Pacific Northwest and Safeco Field in Seattle. Tonight, it's interleague baseball. First of a two game I hate interleague baseball, but I love America. How are you all doing? Welcome back to MLB The Show, the Tug Dick episodes. We're going to start again. Tug Dick is like an every other day starter, it seems right now. But the manager puts him in the cleanup spot. Go figure. It's because we're playing left field for uh, Gregor Blanco. And let's also get a look at our two starters in this one. As you see a couple of right-handers getting the baseball. Oh, Matt Kane, fix that ERA, man. That's not so good. We're in a tight race for first. Last thing we want to do is lose it. I think we're only half a game in first. Maybe tied. It's something like that. Aha, Angel Pagan, you failed. It's weird to be, like, rooting against your own guy. <laughs> You're rooting for and against him. All right, guys, I'm first and third. We'll Top of the first. The I almost wonder if I should try and bunt it. I wonder if that'd be too crazy to try and get the guy home that way. I guess we'll swing. Here's the first offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. My biggest worry is if we bunt into a double play, but I really want to get that run in. That guy's slow over at third, though. Oh, no! They learned it from Captain Caveman and Son. He said that a million times. I don't care. I say if PewDiePie can scream in a million videos, I can say Captain Caveman every day. Actually, I don't need a justification for being stupid. Man, Tug Dick is having a hard time with this guy. He's even late on that. He missed his period. He's going to have a baby. Oh. I think he's mad that I keep uh, following those off. Please bean us. Tug Dick's having a hard time at the zip bat. Oh, please carry enough. Yes! He has not had a home run forever. Three-run home run. What's up now, manager? What's up now? Suck my me, Dick. Tug Dick. He tugged a home run out there. Bam. That'd been a dry spell in home runs. What's up now, Mariners? Well, he worked himself into trouble out there right off the bat. Had to go through. We're playing the Mariners, right? <laughs> Now the next thing you know, boom! Down three nothing before he gets out of the first. Man, go Tug Dick, coming through in the cleanup spot. That's the way to start a game. I bet Matt Kane is very grateful that he gets to start with a lead like that. Ah, this butt monk has hit a home run. I'm getting used to National League um, style of play because I was like, why isn't our pitcher hitting? I'm like, oh yeah, the DH. Kane ready, the one two. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Where you think you're going? Nowhere. That's right. He puts it away for round number one. They actually probably should, they probably should put Angel Pagan in left and Tug Dick in center if they're going to do that. Just because uh, Tug Dick has so much range. Oh, Angel Pagan struck out again! I don't know if he struck out the first time, but whatever. Tug Dick, we'll get another shot Tug Dick getting that batting run. average up there. Slowly growing. Two outs, so definitely not going to try and bunt here. Check by Hernandez, the pitch. Oh, please drop. I think he's going to hang up there too long. Yep. Oh, well. He has a three-run home run. How do you like that, Mariners? Marinara sauces. Oh, Matt Kane, don't walk people, you dill head. Are you freaking kidding me? I like that we our team only has three hits and Tug Dick has one-third of them. Matt Kane? No, you walked two guys this inning, you idiot! Oh, damn it. Now it's a tied ball game. Oh, 
almost have to root for Angel Pagan now to get on because we need to get some more runs. Uh oh. The one plus about that is if Angel Pagan keeps hitting bad, Angel Pagan's batting average has been dropping as Tug Dick's batting average has been getting better. Yeah! It'd be nice if Tug Dick could do that again. Obviously, it wouldn't be a three run shot this time, but. Haha! <laughs> Suck my dick! And that is he was attacking the pitcher. He's like, I ain't got no respect for you. Can we actually get stolen base number nine here? Probably shouldn't be stupid on the base pass. But... Hey, manager, remember this! Look how Tug Dick is doing. Hunter Pence. Stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's. Really Come on, Hunter Pence, you do. You're in the middle of a hitting streak. You got this. Dick believes in you. Action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. Sinker to open the AB in there for. If he steals here, though, he might not believe in you too much. A heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on it. Especially What is wrong with you, pitcher? Just because I lead in stolen bases on my team. And again, a Would you quit? Hate you. Hate you worse than the manager. That's a lie. Check by oh, shit. <laughs> that guy's movement was too good to hold. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to steal on that. Can you go home? I mean, I love this whole little cat and mouse game we've got going on. Meow. I'll throw it 100 pence. The 1-1 one, one home. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two. I'm starting to doubt I can steal on this guy. He's got a really good movement thrown from the stretch, and he's got decent speed. Oh, there he did the leg kick I wanted to go on. Hunter Pence, yes! Safe. And the key to this is that he's God, that guy has been so clutch when Tug Dick is on. They're like the tag team of terror. Man, our team loves the high socks. <laughs> like, I like that. That's why I made Tug Dick with the, you know, the high socks, the, the tall socks. Apparently the, the best players on our team like it. Come on, Brandon Belt. You know you hate that ball. After the things it said about your mama. It's probably like, Tug Dick, you said that about my mama. Well, you know. <laughs> and here's the first pitch. Here's a That's all right. That's not your pitch. I believe in you, Brandon Bell. I believe you can fly. I believe you can hit the sky. Break his finger every day. Make him cry in every way. <laughs> I believe you can fly. <laughs> That'll inspire him. It's 2-0. Yeah, you can't let that happen. In a close game like this, you got to make him put it in play. And a good all right. It's all right, Brandon Belt. I don't blame you. 2-0. I would have been hacking, too. I would have been going swinging for the fences at that spot. What are you looking at, pitcher? Throw the damn ball. Oh yeah, three and one, man! Load those bases. That's what I want to see. I would not have Brandon Belt take in here though. Three and one. He's been an awesome clutch hitter for the team. Oh, and he wasn't taken either. He's trying to do something with that. All right, full count. We're going on the pitch. Please, Brandon Belt, walk or make contact. First place is on the line. Oh. Look how packed these stadiums are. You know they want to see us Giants play. 
Even though we're on the road, you can see the orange jerseys in the crowd. Brendan Belt. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and the Giants will be turned away. Nah. That ends the inning. Well, he tried. I'm not going to get on his butt so much. Yeah, because Brandon Belt comes through a lot. He's got this thing where, like, he'll have only one hit in a game, but it'll be uh, RBI. It'll be a home run, or it'll drive someone home. Oh, come on, Matt Cain. Do not let them score. Quit walking, people! I can go out there and pitch! Tug Dick can go out there and pitch if he wants to walk people. Step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Hit Guys in first and second, out two outs. Oh, well, fuck balls. Damn it! I can't see where he's going. Well, that sucks. I think he learned that from Tug Dick. He's like, Tug Dick hit a three run home run, now I'm going to. Matt Kane! You're freaking insane! I'm getting you put away. Now, don't clap for him! He's got the clap. Damn it, bro. Did you really need to do that? Hit it right over Tug Dick? Damn you guys. Yeah, even if Tug Deck jumped to the wall, he wouldn't have had that. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants dugout. Bruce Bochy balls. And that will be all tonight for our starter, Matt Kane. Bye, Matt Kane. Thanks for blowing the game for us. <laughs> That's why his name is Tug Dick and not Tug Nice. Alright, who's coming in? So well, he's got a good ERA going. From the hard throwing right -hander Santiago Casilla. Oh, we need like three runs now. Come on, Scudero, get the guy home. Or don't. I'm in the situation now where I almost... Oh, no, come on, guys. Let's get these outs here. We're going to have to root for Angel Pagan when he comes up. Oh, now we're down by seven to three. Oh, Angel Pagan strikes out again. Tug Dick, two for three. Tug come on, manager. Has Angel Pagan got it on once today? Tuck Dick is probably going to be at least 500 this game. First pitch coming. Oh, a little late on the sinker. That's the first strike. I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Well, down 0 and 2, mighty quick. Yeah, we got two, two down. Let's go, Mariners. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. Fouled back. Thank God Tug Dick got a piece of that. I'm amazed he did. That was so high. Hernandez ready. Another 0-2. Down and away. It's a ball in two strikes. Hernandez is like, I'm going to throw something there's no way you can hit. Woo! And 2-2. And two and two. Well, he got caught chasing those first two pitches out of the strike zone, but... I think he's Come on, pitcher. Give me something to hit. Now. Those are two good takes to get I don't like that shit. Two and, two. and this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do What it is this? Again. Pitch number seven coming up? At least Tug Dick's working this guy. This guy will probably not finish the game. Oh, damn it. Could not catch up with that. I hate you. Well, I can see why Felix Hernandez is still pitching. He seemed to do pretty well against our team. Come in and pitch now. Oh no, Budieres, you're letting people on. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Oh, come on, team. <laughs> oh, that's the game, and we lose seven to three. Frustrating loss. On the one plus side, is Tug Dick went two for four, with a three run home run. He had a really good game. All the runs we have were because of Tug Dick's home run.
performances to choose from in this one, boys. Tug Dick is really trying to make a statement. Sorry, Mike. Tug Dick is trying to make a statement that, hey, I deserve to start regularly again. And I don't think Angel Pagan got on even one time this game. Five hundred's definitely gonna raise that batting average. So let's take a look at some stats here quick slate. First MLB three RBI game. Oh cool, you got a career milestone. That's cool. We're still oh we're half a game behind the Dodgers now. But see manager, that's what happens when Tug Dick doesn't start regularly. Angel Pagan was hitting over 300 at one point in time. His average has dropped down to 280, and Tug Dix is 262, so we're slowly gaining on him. Look at Gregor Blanco. We should be playing left field at least. Nothing against Gregor, but he's not playing near as well as Tug Dick is. Oh, get a pinch hit again. Oh, there's a three-way tie for first now. Giants, Diamond, Backs, and Dodgers. Damn it, manager! Now my stats are better than the left fielder. Both character stats, hitting the stats, fielding... I think the fielding stats were, maybe they weren't. Put Tug Dick in, you idiot! Why do you think we've fallen back? I get if you want to play Angel Pagan. He's a good player, but... Hitting coach or whatever is like, get your bat. I'll bat you so hard. You're a Tom Wilhelmson. Hi, Tom Wilhelmson. German. Are you the son of the Kaiser? Alright, guy on first, top of the eighth, no outs. I wonder if I should bunt. <laughs> Sucks to be you! <laughs> That's even better than bunting. Being a dick and hitting the pitcher. Caroming it off his leg. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course. Tug Dick is a dick. I like how Tug Dick nails the pitcher with the ball, and he gets so much joy out of it. Come on, Gregor Blanco. I should be in your position. Ew, that thing is scary. Ew! What is that? Kill it with fire! Ew, that's the creepy moose. Look at that smile. It's gonna touch you in your naughty spots. I don't like him. Hey, no one down here. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball. Gregor, why don't you bunt? Get me and Dingus McGee over to second and third. We can win this. We're a National League team. Let's play small ball. Yeah, he did, too! How about calling him that? Oh, and he got there safely. What's up, Mariners? You're not used to traditional baseball. You and your American League ways. Charlie Furbush? Wow, that sounds like a porn name. <laughs> and you know why they'd call him Charlie Furbu Furbush? Oh, you'd be like, there's a forest down there. I hope you're old enough where I don't have to explain what that means. If not, sorry about that to your parents. Ooh, come on, Buster Pose! Buster Posey. Still want you to hook me up with Parker Posey if you can. Dude, all you gotta do is make contact with it and we probably have the lead. Or if you walk. Actually, yeah, a walk would give us the go-ahead run. Oh, damn it, Buster Posey. Don't strike out, please, for the love of the Giants. Holy crap, that had a lot of movement. You got a creepy beard, dude. You, you, you a leprechaun? Can I have your pot of gold? 
Doug, Doug Dick, no, you're being rude. Now two -two. Nice. Hold on, hold on, right here. To no for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Hey, we got the go-ahead run, though. All we needed was one run. Well, hopefully all we'll need is a run. And though that's about the worst... No, the worst thing he could have done was strike out or pop out to the infield. So that worked out. It certainly wasn't great. What's up, porn man? Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In now, Marco Scudero. Now nice job. Oh, fuck you, Scooter. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, Tug Dick's gonna... Oh, go sit on the bed. <laughs> nice ups by Brad Miller, to be honest, though. Buster Posey will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here after. Is Tug Dick gonna be in still? Buster Posey. Gene Machine is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. I wish they would let Tug Dick catch. That would have been hilarious. Probably hilariously bad, though. Into the on-deck circle now is Corey Hart as he'll be called on. Man, tons of substitutions. Tug Dick's playing third base? Oh no, why third base? His arm is super weak. Oh, please don't hit. He's, the whole time he's like, don't hit it to me, don't hit it to me. Thank God nobody hit it to him. Because he's got a very weak arm. He would have had a hard time getting to first. Tug Dick, one for one, 100. The manager, Bruce Bocci, is like, I want to sit next to you. Are you convinced yet, manager? Are you convinced? I love Angel Pagan. Actually, you should still start Angel Pagan. We should let him take Gregor's spot in left field. Hunter Pence, two for four. I believe Tug Dick was two for four, too. Well, that was... Oh, wait, no, Tug Dick was one for one because he was a pinch hitter. I was, I was watching a different game in my mind. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. It's good to see Tug Dick really making a contribution. Not playing as much as I want, but when he is playing, he's been hitting really well of late. I'll see you all next time.